Hello friends, in this video we will learn how to use the rectangular array command. You can find the rectangular array command in the modified tool. This is rectangular array. So click the array command. Now select the object. right click now we can arrange this object in a row or column so if you select this grip and drag towards the right you can make some copies of this object in these columns if you edit this grip you can Similarly, make the number of row count. You can manually enter the number of counts. Maybe if you need six rows, you can enter six and enter. So it will make six rows and the desired columns. Or you can use this grip to manually adjust the row and columns and for editing an existing array you can use this this ribbons you can change the number of columns if i need only five columns i can enter the digit five here and enter So the column will be reduced to 5 and if the row, if I need only 3 rows, I can enter 3 and enter. So the array will be reduced to 3 by 4. I can change the spacing between the rows, 5 unit. So the spacing between the row is changed. Spacing between the column similarly 5 unit. So I can do the settings like this. And you can see the associative option. If you turn on the associative option, this all object will be considered as a single object and after closing this array you cannot select this single object individually for example if i turn on this associative and enter now when i select this object all object will be selected as single unit so If I select this object and if I turn off this associative, now this is turn off and press enter. Now I can individually select this object. I can select all the objects individually. So if you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.